So I'm going to need a secondary ball valve here with a coupling the uh, angle to again a four inch pipe, another uh, collar for the, the nip of uh, the end cap to the MIG tip. Now these are, I got 2.5 on these or 0 0.025 on these because uh, I did it on my old one, I went ahead and did it, did it with the, uh, I drilled in the um, 1 16th on it and it did great, it really did. But from the performance I'm hearing, doing the actual MIG tip, you know, if you got a few extra or just, just go ahead and blow it $9 and get a pack of five of them. It's supposed to make it more refined and it's more uh, accurate. So that's why I'm gonna switch and upgrade it to that. And we're gonna go ahead and build it right now.
jumped out of my hand at, at least, I don't know, five, six times. And I'm using the wrong tongs, and it's a mild piece of steel just to get my point across, and it heats up, and it's doing pretty good. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's just fun, you know? That's all it is. Just enjoy yourself. Do what you gotta do, and have fun with it.
So there you go. I just got a rough shape of a knife, you know. I was just playing around. This is mild steel. Just seeing how it heats. It seems like it heats in about 20 seconds. And, uh, well, it heats up in about three to five minutes. And it actually reheats in about 20 seconds or so. So... Basically, this was a success. The forge is amazing. There's no heat coming off the sides or the bottom where I put the thermal blanket. It heats up. It does what its job is. And uh, you can check it out. Like it. Build one for yourself. And I definitely, if you're going to be a long-term smith, I would say go ahead and build it so you know the ins and outs of it. Probably one of the best projects I've ever done. Uh, when I built my own burner, that's when I knew I could do it. And I sprayed it down with uh, Windex <coughs> to see if any bubbles were coming out. It's completely sealed. It's amazing. But yeah, so get the forge up.